You must understand that if you are going to experience the open doors God has in store for you, then you and I must position ourselves and walk in the fear of God. There is no compromise. Until that is the case, you are not ready for open doors yet. We live in a generation where people want to mix God with other things. You can imagine a Yahoo boy coming to church now and he's playing, praying for breakthrough and he's in the service. It's unfortunate, but that is the reality of what we see in our day and age. People who are actively fraudulent, expecting divine assistance. What do you do for a living? Mm, 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 mm. Description without destination. And yet, we are expecting divine intervention. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. Let us know the God that we serve. He cannot stand the double dealing. I've shared it before years ago. A woman came to me, pastor, pray for me. I said, what is the problem? He said, pray for the fruit of the womb. And my spirit was not in line with it. It's a prayer that every pastor wants to pray. A woman looking for the fruit of the womb is a, is a compassionate prayer. But my spirit was not in agreement. I said, where's your husband? He says, he's not here. I said, why is he not here? Um, um, no, uh, it's a long story. I said, tell me now. I want to, I will wait. That long story, I will hear it. God, this prayer, I won't pray till I hear that long story. Give me headlines only, just headlines. By the time I got to the bottom of the matter, it was not even her husband. Somebody else's husband, who she wants to collect. Then she came to church for prayer, so that God will assist her for marital arm robbery. You should know the kind of God that we serve. He cannot stand a double delay. 